guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and I have this. This is the Sony Xperia M2. It's sort of like the cheaper, smaller, cheaper cousin of the Xperia Z2. It was announced at the same time at an event at MWC in Barcelona. So we're going to unbox this and check it over and see what it's like upon first impressions. But first of all, we've got to thank our friends at Best Buy. They didn't give us this phone, but they often supply us with phones for you guys to win on our One Pod Bandit giveaway. Go ahead and check that out. So the actual packaging, I don't normally spend a lot of time talking about the box, but it is quite unusual in that you open it from the bottom or the back. You open up the back side, which is kind of its own flippy thing. Once you open it up, you will see that the phone is facing the right way up. You take the phone out, put it to one side, and also inside the box you have another separate panel where they've put the USB cable. And another part where they have put the power adapter, which in my version is the UK plug. Obviously, we don't know if this is coming to the US or not at the moment. We know it's focusing more European, Asian, South American markets, and it costs about £210, which is roughly €250, Euros, about $300. It also comes with the usual paperwork, quick start guys, just giving you an overview on how to get it started and working. Now, as you can see just from looking at it, it is very similar in design to the rest of the Xperia range. It's got flat front and back covered in a scratch resistant glass and the sides are flat too with a slight chamfered edge around the very edges on the top and the bottom and also very slightly rounded corners. Now on the right hand side is where everything happens. You have the power and lock key and just below that you have the volume rocker. About a thumbs width below the volume rocker is the bespoke camera shutter button but just above the power key you'll see there's a slight indent and this is where you open up one of those really fun flaps where you can put in a micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes or your micro SIM card. On the left hand edge there's really nothing going on except the micro USB cable port and also on the top um, only one port there that's the three and a half millimeter headphone jack but on the bottom it's pretty much dominated by this really subtle and ni quite nice looking grill and that covers the microphone hole and your loudspeaker no stereo speakers in this model you have a 4.8 inch display resolution wise it's not tremendous it's 540 by 960 so that's 229 pixels per inch the front camera is just a vga camera capable of making video calls and obviously shooting selfies. On the back you have an 8 megapixel camera and an LED flash as well as the microphone and there is NFC built into this thing. Powering this is a 1.2 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon 400 series processor so again not quite as high spec as the Z2. Obviously the price reflects that and it only runs at the moment Android 4.3 Jelly Bean but there are plans to upgrade it to 4.4 Point two. First impressions really are fairly decent. It feels like a very solid phone. It doesn't feel cheap. It's a little bit lighter than the Z2. It's a little bit smaller. The screen is perhaps not as responsive and it's got kind of an unusual texture. It doesn't feel as, I guess, glidey as the Z2 does. Um, but all in all, it's not a terrible phone. So that has been the quick unboxing and first looks of the Sony Xperia M2. Has it got what it takes to take on the likes of the Moto G, which is quite a lot cheaper? We'll find out later on. I've been Cam, I'm at phonedog underscore Cam on Twitter. I will see you again soon.